I'm Rachel Padilla. I'm an artist. Today I am exploring Camp Daniel Morgan. And that probably doesn't mean much to most people, but you may have heard of a camp called Camp Forest Green. And if not, maybe Camp Crystal Lake from Jason Lives, Friday the 13th, part six. Let's take a look. So walking into a really big kitchen, but this is the window which our camp counselors are first talking about Jason Voorhees. And there's only one thing that she could think of that would be scarier than Jason Voorhees. And it was a bus full of kids that pulls up right outside this window. Right here, I am in front of. Um, I think it's actually a mess hall for this camp, but I believe it played the girls' cabin in the movie. So I wanted to go ahead and check that out. This whole place is very cool. And I think it was originally built in like the, the 40s or something. But got these great vaulted ceilings. Sun really shining through the window there. And all of this knotted pine wood mold, or not molding, paneling. But this space, as you can see, is actually a mess hall um, with the old wooden tables and benches. The beautiful cut stone fireplace there at the end. But the interior of this space for Jason Lives um, was used for a lot of scenes, a lot of shots. Um, I know that there are people that go through and kind of match up the knots in the wood to different scenes. But um, this was used for the interior of the girls' cabin, the interior of the boys' cabin. I think even some of the counselors' cabin scenes were shot in here. But aside from the use of this movie, it's a really incredible space. It sounds like the wind is kicking up outside. There's um, some, some rattling and stuff going on. Some noises. So let's go on to the next space. Check out the lodge here. And again, First thing to note here is this incredible fireplace. And I assume that um, it continues indoors as a kind of an indoor outdoor fireplace kind of situation. I'm gonna go in here. Check this out. Very cool. Look at all the shutters on all the windows. Little single cots. This is very cool. As a kid, I think this would have been a really cool place to have summer camp. Um, and then behind me, back to the movie aspect of this really cool space, is that incredible fireplace. Um, this fireplace was actually used in scenes for the counselor's cabin. What a neat and cool space. You can actually see the light coming through the door there. 
moving on to other places. Still a few more sites to see in this really cool camp. It's just a little shed for storing um, wood for wood burning stove. But this is actually uh, one of the the spots that's in uh, Jason's living. It's filled up with wood, and the sheriff comes around and he just keeps shooting Jason repeatedly over and over. And Jason falls a few times, but he just keeps getting up, just sitting up like some kind of freaky giant zombie. And that's about here in the woods next to this little wood shed. More of these cabins and outbuildings and so many things to explore. Um, but I thought, let's take a peek in here. inside of this little sleeping cabin, more of the cots. Apparently they are stackable. You could really just stack up the, the summer campers in here. Very cool. And these cabins, I've noticed they don't have um, glass. screened in. <laughs> ah, got that one to work. No glass, but they're screened in and they have the little um, shutters here to keep out the elements. Pretty cool. Really old school lighting. It smells old. I guess the way you would expect a camp to smell. I always try to leave things exactly how I found them. So next stop is this lovely building here in the background. Um, I believe this was the boys cabin or at least the exterior of it was the boy's cabin in the movie. There is a scene where a bunch of kids are running out of here down those steps. So let me climb up these steps and we will check it out. So this one's darker than the others. As you saw from the outside, the windows in this whole space are boarded up. There's a big, heavy, sturdy work table here. And I'm not sure if you can see it, but there are just layers and layers and years of paint on that table, which is why I called it a work table. These gray rafters, that window and the open door there. And then as you can see through there, there is more space, but that's, that's pretty dark. No such luck. I believe on the side of this building, um, it's called the, this is called the recreation hall or some such thing like that. So I'm gonna head out to the lake 
and check that out. Pretty famous dock. What a beautiful space. Half tempted to take out a few. But I figure we'll just walk out. lake is so much bigger than I thought it was. What a beautiful place. Actually, I think if we're talking um, Jason Lives, the death scene of Jason is just off of this dock out in the murky water out there. This is very murky water. If Jason were under the water there now, I would not be able to see it. What a beautiful, peaceful <laughs> space. Thank you so much for joining me on this tour of Camp Crystal Lake.